My first guest tonight is an Emmy-winning comedian who you know from Saturday Night Live, which is all new this week with host Dave Chappelle and musical guest, musical guest Foo Fighters. Come on. You can also see him in the movie Hubie Halloween, which is so funny, man. He's great. It's available now on Netflix. Everyone, please welcome Kenan Thompson. We love Kenan Thompson. Saturday night as now. We love Kenan Thompson. We got so head to tail. We don't, we, don't, we don't play entrance music anymore. This is all new. What was that? Is Kenan it, Thompson. It's made up. Wing, goons, wings, Kenan Thompson. Musicians, man. You guys are the best, man. Shout out to Philly, by the way. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? You know, Kenan does the warm up before the audience, you know, before the show starts in Saturday Live. And it's right up to the last second. You usually do uh, stand-up or you do a song with the band. Or I did, I used to do Rolling Stones when I was on the show. Which song? I did Midnight Rambler. Which goes... No, 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 no I can't. No, no, yeah, it's too much money. Is we that really? We can't afford Rolling Stones. can't Stone. even just replay the... No, we can do, like, a different version of a song. That's amazing. But, yeah, yeah. no, we, we warm up the crowd before the show, and uh, Michael Che does some good stand-up, and he introduces me, and I, I force karaoke upon, upon the crowd. Uh, <laughs> but it's, it's a good time. It, it, you know, it's good to get the energy up, and I get my little jitters out from seeing people staring yeah. at me and stuff like that. And it's get your nerves out. I remember I did, I worked out, I did such, I really went for this song <laughs> so hard, and I was pretending I was Mick Jagger and you were Keith playing. Richards. I was playing the guitar and singing, and then I was laid on the ground. I flipped down, I was... You know, this is pre-COVID. This I was is laying on people. Before the show even starts. <laughs> before the show even started, and then I was in a sketch, the cold open sketch. Yeah, yeah. And so they go, we're starting in, you know, five seconds, you know. And you go. Voice blown. Yep. My voice voice blown. blown. Sweaty. Yeah. Dude, I was in. Tina was like, what is wrong with you? I go, hey, man. Uh, 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 live in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. Rachel, you say, you can yeah. say, I can't talk. It's intense. But I mean, but, you know, it's a specific kind of love you have for entertaining I think, you know, yeah. and that, that comes through and when you're, I guess, chosen to be in that role of even warming up the audience before we do an awesome show. Yeah, because it's like, yeah, we want the show to be. We're, we're a team. We yeah, want this, man. Oh, everyone I want to score. everybody to experience a good time, you know? Yeah. I wish it could be always. And I this mean, week. I, shout out to those talented people that we just saw. That was, that was incredible. Yeah, that was That's amazing, right? Incredible. Make it, isn't that cool? All, all three of them were very angry. I, I thought it was funny how she stubbed her toe a little less after that first one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she got a little bit too real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, ooh, but, that was a real yeah, yeah, method yeah, actor. That was, that was incredible. And all the way from Italy, yeah, come on. You know, I, it's, it's, the, the global unite. Do uh, you have uh, Dave Chappelle hosting this Saturday? <laughs> first of all, it was a six. Yeah, I mean, come on. Come back. But a six show run. Is pretty amazing, and to end it with Dave Chappelle was just, I mean, brilliant. Come on, I mean, who better? You know what I'm saying? Especially in, since it's a, a resurgence of the last four year when he made his appearance. You know what I mean? Like was that four, four years? Oh yeah. Jeez. And it was, you know, just an electric week then. So I know the show Saturday is going to be powerful. It's going to be very, very powerful. So Here's I'm be honest. He he complimented us yesterday. He made an insane speech, you know, before the table read. He did the same thing, the same thing years ago. But, I mean, the guy's just such a prolific speaker, you know what I'm saying? And he speaks from the heart and a brilliant mind. And yeah. it's such a pleasure to be around. I mean, y'all know. Yeah. Yeah, you went to his thing in, uh, in Ohio, right? Yeah. What? That's, I mean, he's just, uh, he's like a beyond, I, I don't want to say wordsmith, it's beyond that. He's a poet. He's like, it's so many things, but funny, dude. I remember back in the day when we used to, like, I used to do stand-up and see him. This is when, do you still smoke on stage? Constantly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he smoked right more now. than I've ever seen. And I was like, he just, and just lighting up the whole thing. And this was like, and then I don't know what, I guess if they banned cigarettes, that was a weird scene. Yeah, he almost does it on purpose, I feel like. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Tell me Keith that. Richards was here and he smoked and the alarms went off. Yeah. And I went is into this, his dressing room. this cool? Yeah, no, I said to him, I go, Keith, you know you can't smoke. He goes, ah, oh, no, it's bad for your health, right? <laughs> <laughs> he knows what's up. It's Keith Richards, man. He'll be fine. Can you, uh, look at this. That's you, that. Tracy Morgan, Eddie Murphy, Chris Rock, Dave Chappelle. 
Uh, what was this feeling like? First of all, it was a Christmas show. So Merry Christmas to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those guys, those are four legends I'm standing next to. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, going down the line, Tracy's my brother. You know, he was the first person to embrace me because I came in right when he left. You know what I'm saying? And That's he right. took me to TGI Fridays for lunch. He's like, let's go to Fridays. <laughs> and, Dude, that sounds real. <laughs> it was re very real. The one right down the street. Yeah, in his Cadillac Escalade pickup truck. <laughs> He pulled it out of the garage on 48th him. Street. We drove around I love him. 50th to you can back walk. to 48th and 5th. You could walk to it. <laughs> Just because he wanted us to see his ride and he wanted yep. to flex on two and a half blocks. And I've, I always felt him for that. You know, That's actually him, legendary. Stepping you up. You could throw so, a rock and hit T.J. Fridays from our building. Exactly. Next to him, you have the legendary Dave Chappelle, man, who yesterday told me that I was good at my job, and I almost cried. You know what I'm saying? Like Seriously. The dude is, the, I mean, as far as, like, the pinnacle of people I look up to in the voice of my generation, it's that guy, you know? And next to him, the legendary Eddie Murphy, man, like, the first black movie superstar, you know, and like just the first person that meant everything to every single person in my family, you know what I'm saying? Like everything he did, we all like laughed really hard and embraced, you know what I'm saying? So next to him, you have Chris Rock, who is brilliant in his own lane. He carved a lane so strong that I don't think anybody could say he's not probably the greatest probably stand-up specials that HBO ever had, you know what I'm saying? Ever. Like that whole run that he did is so solid. And Changed still, the game. Brilliant in his mind. He's killing it on Fargo right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he so is, by the way. I can run down the credits of those dudes all day long. And shout out to Michael Che for even writing me in that moment, man. Like, I, I'm just, like, I'm floored when I see it. And how about the person holding this picture? And, the, and that's if you, if you zoom in on the pink knuckles around, <laughs> they belong to... Dude, zoom in on the pink knuckles. They belong to my brother, James Fallon, <laughs> It's probably one of the funniest people I've ever been around in my entire yeah. life. Thank Absolutely. you. That's all I want. Yeah, yeah. It, it hands took, down. Thank you. I appreciate that.